This kind of stuff is great for free-range parents yes. who are willing to let their kids climb on slightly dangerous things. Down we go into the depths. It's kind of eerie looking. Go get granddad. Go get him. <laughs> now they're going after you. <laughs> banana. You got your banana. Good morning, little guy. Everybody slept pretty well except for this little guy because it's a new place. Once he's a little older, traveling will get easier. But this is an old farmhouse that was built in the 60s and it even has the original stove from the 60s. That's a relic right there. Don't make them like that anymore. They don't. It's amazing that it still works. Like that this thing lasted 50 years. Yeah, this was made before General Electric discovered planned obsolescence. Yep. So. Every bit of it was designed to last forever, and it did. Yep. <laughs> Takes a looking and keeps on ticking. And it's a beautiful view where we're at. We're at the base of the Olympic Mountains here. Yeah. It's really beautiful. This used to be a farm once upon a time. Are you ready for the cold? <laughs> Where'd your hands go? Where'd your hands go? And you're all ready too, little miss. You're all color coordinated. Why does it look like winter in Because it's cold out there. I'm gonna go walk around in the frost. Frost is not really cold. Frost is cold. Frost is ice. See the blue jay on the bird feeder there? Yeah. I like the color of its back. Yeah, it's pretty, isn't it? The oh, look, now the two of them. Oop. And off they go to explore the backyard. Don't fall, Bill! Can you leave the car keys at least? Sharing, Teo. <laughs> oh, now you're gonna share with Rochelle. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Jaws, my buddy. He's like, I was just showing you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you 
need a friend. This is your share. <laughs> he took her himself all out today. So much grandma love. Hey. <laughs> yeah, pretty lovable. Mommy. Hi, Hi Grandma. Hi, Come here. Hi, sweetheart. Hey. How are you this morning? Good. Good. You know. You're gonna go walk on a in a tunnel today? Uh, well, we're gonna. I'm gonna go to the beach. I'm gonna go walk in the tunnel. Oh, maybe we can do both. And this one is going to have a nap. Yeah. Aren't you, little T? That's a Taoism right there. I love that shirt. <laughs> Sophie, what's your shirt say? Are you raised by strong women? <laughs> Sophie's from Lake Wobegon, where all the women are strong, the men are beautiful, and the children are above average. <laughs> so we're going hiking on the Spruce Railroad Trail here, and we're looking forward to seeing a tunnel and a bridge. We're almost there to the tunnel. What do you think, Alex? Is this fun? What do you think of that, Sophie? Yeah. 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 Here we go back in the other direction. Is there a ghost in here, Alex? Yes, there is a ghost in here. The ghost of Choo Choo's past. Ooh. We got little Sophie Twinkle Toes here. She said the, the ghosts would be scared away by her footwear. <laughs> so this is the bridge over the Devil's Punch Bowl. Coco Fairy goes to Charlie's Chocolate Factory. No! <laughs> no! It's actually called the Coho Fairy, but Alex likes to call it the Coco Fairy. I see the moon! There's the smokestacks. The Pope Mill. Do you know what the, they do? They make paper. Yeah. That's right. They're turning trees into paper. They're turning trees into paper. And if you guys haven't seen, we actually made a vlog when Alex was two years old coming down here and Alex was so excited. Little two-year-old Alex saying, it's a smokestack. <laughs> big tall tower. Is there a big tall tower? Big smokestack. Big smokestack. I mean smokestack. Yeah, 
now we're gonna see a big smokestack. That's exciting for a little two-year-old, isn't it? Smokestack. And some big smokestacks. And some big smokestacks. Oh. Look up there. Big smokestack. I'll link that vlog if you want to see an old, old vlog of ours. This is all straight of Juan Fuca. Well, what is that water? That's just part of the inlet street. on the other side of the spit. Yeah, because it's not what daddy goes <laughs> There's Canada over there. That would be Victoria. Where our cousins sailed back to today. Sophie, are you gonna make a little cairn? Yeah. That's another kind of art that you can do, huh? It's little stacks of rocks. It's rock art. I can make rock art too. My beautiful parents. <laughs> Aren't they beautiful? Our little trip is done and we're heading out and packing up is easier than packing out on the way out, but it's still packing for Mount Everest. Well, it's packing down from Mount Everest. It's packing down from Mount Everest. <laughs> you don't have stuff. to think about all the you things to pack, to so to but you do have to get it all back in. I'll show you guys this little farm that we stayed on. This is a little Airbnb. I'll go for a little tour here before we go. There's an old chicken coop here. Oh, you can actually go in there. Not a chicken coop anymore. Oh, there was a heron that just flew by. How cool is that? There's a full old barn in here. And there is this little river running through the backyard, which is really pretty. This is probably a branch of the Elwha River. So pretty here. And looks like they had a corral here of some kind for animals. Horses or cows or pigs or something. This is the beautiful property that the house is on. And it's so interesting that it's so flat. And then the Olympic Mountains just jump straight out of the ground. Just cliff straight up. So pretty. There's the old 60s house that we looked up as 1966. But well maintained. Yeah, really, really clean and well maintained. But yeah, cute little house. missing this place. I also wish that I'll be at this house. You like it here, don't you, Alex? Are you gonna miss it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, there's a chance we could come back. We'll see. When Peo's a little older, still not going in the room with them. Well, 
here we are at Fort Warden, which is from World War One, right? Um, actually predates World War One a little bit. It's really? The beginning of the 20th century. So like the early 1900s? It was active during World War One, but of course never used. There are three forts that protect Puget Sound, and this was one of them. Now, with modern technology, they are absolutely unnecessary. They've been for a very long time. Yeah, got my little hiking buddy here. Naps do wonders. <laughs> we had some very cranky little kids when we first got in the car, and they fell asleep, and now everybody's happy. <laughs> Thank goodness for car naps. We've been wanting to take you kids here for a long time. You were calling this the flashlight place, weren't you, Alex? Because we have to use flashlights in there. 1926 to 1992. And now I have a new hiking buddy. See the dark tunnel, Mom. Yeah, it's kind of like a dark tunnel. It's old, an old fortress, basically, that is made out of cement. And we can go in there with flashlights. And Bill and I have done this a number of times at I think I've been to all three forts, but the kids have not been to any of them. So this is something we've been wanting to do for a while. We happen to get good weather on our way back from our trip. So we're having a little adventure. How can you spell explorers? <laughs> what are we? Are we explorers? Yeah. How do you spell explorers? That's a big question for a little girl. E X P L O R E R S. That's a lot of letters. <laughs> there they are. There they are. Hi. Take a picture of those leaves. Take a picture of these leaves. What's special about these leaves? They're Just because they're green and they're pretty? Um, Just like you? Your little Sophia green leaf? Green leaf. Pick it. Is that a tough leaf to pick? You want this one? Yeah. There you go. We're not going to pick many leaves, but you can have one. The Marie's Vault. It's a memorial to the fort itself because huh. nothing was ever fired, no shot was ever fired in anger from the fort. From any of the forts? Nope. They were preventative. They kept the <laughs> official blueprints for the fort in a vault. And that cement vault there, or the concrete vault there, is all that's left of the barracks. Well, this is definitely interesting. Cement throne there. <laughs> it does look like a cement throne. Is that what, is that supposed to be a throne? Here, here. Don't know why there's a rock in there. Echoey, echoey, echoey. Whoop, whoop, whoop. So I guess this is the vault itself where the blueprints were. What's the big rock in there? I'm not sure what that's for, why it's in there. Are you a queen? No. Are you a princess? No. It looks like you're sitting in your throne. We've got the boys taking a little rest over here. Alex is feeling kind of tired. It's been a big trip. Yeah, let's go explore. We can find a place to eat our lunch up here. Ooh, those trees are kind of cool too. Come on, Alex. I think you need to eat some food. Then you'll have a little more energy. Tired boy. Sophie's on her way. Now be very careful at the edges here because we don't want you guys falling off. No railings. Okay. And no running while we're up here. We just walk carefully. Yeah. You want to eat there? It's a good seat for an Alex sized person. Yeah, a little nook and cranny. These are Sophie stairs. Sophie sized stairs. Sophie sized stairs. All right. Be careful up there, Sophie. Yes. This kind of stuff is great for free range parents. Yes. Who are willing to let their kids climb on slightly dangerous things. 
risk is important. You teach them how to make off. safe choices. Like yeah. Mommy, can you help me get down? Okay. And they know. They're cautious. Lunch time. This is a perfect little kid size nook and cranny. So mommy, are you hiking to a big dark tunnel? Underneath what we're sitting on right now, we're gonna go underneath with our flashlights. You can go inside of this place. We're on the roof. And so we're, so, and we're so, on the roof. And so, and so, and so, and so, a dark hole under there? There is. It's like tunnels underneath us. Is there a, a hole, a little hole to get under there? Yeah, there's like a doorway to go through. You guys having a good lunch? Did you find a spot to sit in that isn't going to get your butt all wet? Me too. You too, that's right. We're going to go under the, the place where Tail is on and it'll be very dark under there. We might, yeah. What do you think, little T? <laughs> uh, Just as much of a playground for the adults as the kids. <laughs> Somebody got creative. That's just daddy. That's just daddy. <laughs> it's not an actual scary ghost. I'll bring my flashlight and you can come with me and hold my hand, okay? Down we go into the depths. Ooh, here we go. We got our flashlights. and you're with mommy and daddy. Ooh, that's kind of eerie looking. It's kind of an interesting old iron door. Yeah? See this right here? Yeah? That's a cave formation. Huh, this is turning into a cave. Yeah, it's turning into a cave. That's the calcite that's leaching out of the concrete. Wow, and I've, there's just little baby stalactites there. Yeah, that's how I get, That's how much forms in about 100 years. Jeez, so that gives you some sense of real cave, like old caves. Yeah. Like that they're thousands of years. Many of them have been forming since the last ice age. Wow. Oh, look at that ceiling. That's interesting. wood fiber or something. It's echoey, isn't it? That was pretty cool.
nasty stuff. Climbing up the ladder, and there's a view. There's Whidbey Island over there. I believe that's Evie's Landing over there. Whidbey. Living on the wild side here. disappeared into the wall. I'm here. Go ahead. And we're out! That was cool. Alex, when I was your age, I would have died to have something like this to explore. Having really, really, really fun. <laughs> she loves this. Five and under. We've been having tantrums galore at the end of the day. Hashtag real life.